Hello, everyone. This is Felicia Bender, the practical numerologist, coming at you with your monthly forecast. So if you're new to numerology, I always do this a little bit of a moment right before we start, because it is important. If you're new to numerology, welcome. And yet, uh, if you are not familiar with your personal year number in numerology, I ask you to please take one moment, head over to FeliciaBender.com, click on monthly forecast. There is a calculator there that will calculate your personal year number for you. There's also, if you look down in the description box, a very brief, very, very simple way to calculate that because these forecasts are based on the personal year number in numerology. They are not based on the life path number okay so those are two entirely different things in numerology we just want to make sure you're at the right place at the right time listening to the correct forecast and i also want to say that i feel somewhat compelled to start out these forecasts by making an observation here and that is that it's been a rather intense <laughs> and butt kicking uh, eclipse season for those of you who are uh, astrologically inclined, even those who uh, of you who are not, even though I don't know if you're listening to a numerology video, more than likely you're keeping track of the astrological currents as well. So uh, October was really intense in terms of uh, the e eclipses. Things are going on. Uh, um, gosh, going on in the world, going on in our personal lives in a very intense fashion. So October was just a very transitional, transformational time that we're all kind of still in, still reeling from and benefiting from. And yet it's it can be a lot. That's all I'm trying to say. So uh, it, it really doesn't even matter what personal year you're experiencing right now. Uh, it is going to feel like a lot. Okay, so I'm going to ask you, how did that shake out for you? Or how is it continuing to shake out uh, for you in terms of eclipse season? Uh, there was a lot of Libra energy in there, a lot of relationship stuff going on um, across the board. So if that's something you faced in October, basically the only reason I'm bringing this up is because you are not alone. You're not alone at all. We're all kind of we're all going, is anyone else noticing it here that there's a lot going on? Uh, yes, we are all noticing it. Those of us who are noticing it are noticing it. So I really feel it's extremely important uh, to seek out insightful, supportive information that supports all of us in making the most out of these experiences that we're having. And sometimes that simply means knowing that you're not the only one who uh, might be a, a bit up against it right now. Uh, and not know why. So now you know why. So I feel like it's really, truly paradigm shifting right now in the world. Uh, this is made uh, volatile by by the world events that we are are uh, experiencing, uh, looking at all of all of this, right? Uh, and so I just want to say that uh, that you and I and we all have this community of like-minded folks who are really uh, working on it in some way, shape, or form, uh, working on evolving your personal consciousness so that it can reverberate out, uh, how, however you might personally define that. So I just wanted to start out with that little cosmic hug. <laughs> really, I need one. So... <laughs> So I hope you need one because I'm I'm extending it out to you. I think we all really need it. So, okay. So as for November, if you are in a two or if you happen to be in an 11 two, a master number personal year, November is a, a four personal month for you. So the month is the four vibe, the four energy, a little more serious. <laughs> A little more serious. So it's a month to get down to business, really. Uh, last year was, uh, last year, last month was the three, a little more frolicky, hopefully. Um, but uh, this this time it's kind of get down, get down to it, right? Uh, it's time to refine. It's time to define and then refine. Got to define it first and then refine it. It's time to get it organized. Uh, push through some slog, whatever that could be, and bring some order 
into what's in front of you because November is a month where you can begin to feel as though in this two or this 11 to personal year, again, two steps forward, three steps back, one step sideways, three steps, you know, horizontal, <laughs> whatever, vertical, horizontal, sideways, up, down, all around. It's just usually at this point in the two personal year, it's like, oh my gosh, come on. Just feels like molasses sometimes. So um, I, I kind of, I don't know, don't shoot me. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, but this really is a month for you to get down in it um, if you're in a two or a, an 11 two personal year. It, and yet at the same time, it is a time where you can begin to kind of feel these inklings uh, that you can take the driver's seat back uh, in your own life again. So there have been a lot of obstacles this year that have forced you to slow down, right? Take stock of where you are, where you find yourself in the food chain, so to speak. So this month is really designed as an all business month. It's got the potential to be a really distinct, oddly enough, uh, turning point for you in your year. Um, so it's two different facets of business because I'm using that kind of as your theme and your theme for the month. And yet um, you're still in your year where the business of love, of relationships, of um, kind of being that patient diplomatic um, presence, hopefully, is really been taking the helm, has been taking front seat. And yet the month of November brings in that energy of the four vibe uh, to support you here, bringing the business of organizing your life, uh, looking at where you feel at home, where you feel secure, where you feel this sense of stability um, in your life. Those questions are going to be coming up to the surface this month um, and kind of becoming uh, the, I don't know, for a little while anyway, for a moment, really taking their, their place at the top of the priority pool. So you're going to need to dip into those organizational skills, work at systematizing, managing whatever is in your work life or in your personal life, or, you know, really both, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> It all goes together. It's all in tandem. So there might be a little bit more of an emphasis on one or the other, and yet it's going to be both that are going to demand that you kind of step back and, and put on a practical, pragmatic lens, right? Put on your practical glasses and see what, what needs to be done and what needs to be dealt with. So there could be some legal matters, uh, agreements, contracts, that sort of thing to study or negotiate around the 4th of November. So around uh, the um, November 4th, <laughs> could say it both ways, but the 4th of November is when this could, uh, could really come up to be dealt with even more um, what intently or intensely. So the energy of the number four brings in home related and foundation building activities of all kinds, including old family of origin stuff that could come up for review. Uh, it could be a, th a part of the theme, part of the thematic for you in November. You could be involved in buying or selling some property, some real estate, possibly even a home uh, of your own around November the 18th would be a significant day for that process, for that procedure. Your success is going to reside really in taking your time and painstakingly reviewing all those documents. No one loves doing that. I know it. I used to be in real estate. It's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, how much more of this mumbo jumbo can I get through? And yet you need to really look at it. You need to actively engage in the step-by-step -step processes that it's going to take to get you from point A to point B. Because there may be some little sneaky things in there that you're going to regret not going over, right? So just make sure you read through it all. Uh, dot all the I's, cross all the T's, you know the drill. So perhaps you're even not buying, you're not selling, perhaps real estate isn't even a part of what you're doing right now. Uh, in that way, maybe you're moving, maybe you're signing a lease, maybe you're getting out of a lease. 
um, all these sorts of things that have to do with where you feel secure, where you feel a sense of place. Uh, it can be related to your home, or it could also be related to your business. It could be your business space uh, instead of your home. So approach your assignments right now in a very systematic, very down to earth, again, practical, pragmatic is the, the way of the number four. It's always asking you to put the emotion stuff on the sidelines, to just look at something very logically, very pragmatically. Um, so that is what you're going to be asked to do. And that's where your success is going to be this, uh, this month. So keep an eye on the budget, particularly around November 22nd. Again, the energy of the four um, for you this month demands um, some kind of taking off those rose colored glasses and seeing where things really are, right? And it doesn't have to be that self-deprecating, devastating thing. It's just like, okay, what's my budget? What am I doing? Am I saving what I want to save? Do what, you know, what's my credit card? What does my credit card bill look like? Um, uh, you know, all of those very, just put it on the table, take a look, take a look at it. So remember to take a break though, periodically, it's gonna relieve few of the pressures that you may feel this this month so slow and steady is going to win the race uh doesn't really help when deadlines are involved right and yet uh the four is always pushing you it's always making you feel like you're kind of under the gun uh feeling like you know as soon as you get something off your punch list there's three more things that that you know fill its place so you have to really put yourself on your calendar this month you really have to make it a point for self-care uh, whether that's just taking a break from the office, walking around the block to, um, you know, making sure that you're eating well, hydrating well, maybe going and getting that massage that you keep putting off. Um, I don't know. Anything that is relaxation and uh, and that sort of thing is going to really improve your performance rather than detract from it. OK, so time is going to be well spent. Uh, though when you when you show up, when you do the tasks at hand, when you learn how to kind of uh, streamline, to simplify something that keeps maybe being a cluster, <laughs> you're like, how do I make this easier, right? So just step back and see how you could make it easier and then do it. Patience is going to continue to be your mantra, uh, your watchword. That's your your um, your mantra all year long has been patience uh, in the two personal year, but you only have four more weeks, right? Four more weeks of it. We're always going to need patience in our life. And yet boot camp, boot camp for patience <laughs> is going to be, you're going to, you're going to graduate at the end of this year. Okay. So just, uh, just hang on, hang on. Uh, it's coming. So think of it really not necessarily, uh, maybe as patience, rather as waiting for the right timing. It's really all about the timing in a two personal year. So you're going to be offered opportunities in November to figure out where to begin. Uh, so start with the end in mind. Okay. What do you want? Uh, where do you want this to lead? The more clarity you can get around the direction, uh, the better off you're going to be. So during this process, you're going to find yourself letting go of maybe some worn out associations, maybe some counterproductive habits that might be contributing to your feelings of, I don't know, just running on the treadmill, right? Not getting anywhere. Uh, maybe a feeling limitation, feeling self-sabotage, all of those things that can be coming up for you right now and going, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to keep running in place. What is it that I need to do to break out of this routine, this pattern, this way of that, you know, I keep um, rinsing and repeating here, right? So that it's going to bring that up to the surface in November. So it can also be a time where you reinvent a better ways to operate under your current conditions. You're going to maybe be asking yourself some bigger questions. Where do you restructure? Um, maybe you phase something out, integrate something new. Again, this can be personal. It can be business. Uh, it could be all of the above. So it's whatever you're really focused on right now. Um, I mean, really, does your relationship life need a revamp? That's been something that you've been working on all year long, <laughs> relationships, right? So how is that How is that unfolding? How does that playing out? 
uh, right now? How's your career moving along? Oftentimes, this is a slow time for career, a time where you're building relationships, a time where you're, you know, kind of tending to the the under the undertones of what what it is you're doing and how you're doing it. Um, maybe you need to change something in your health regime uh, that is that is more in alignment with you taking more control over your health. So um, see how you can make some small step-by-step changes that are going to set the foundation uh, for that direction that you'd like to go in your life. So again, the four is foundations energy. You get all of November to really work on uh, these foundations that you would like to bridge into the end of the year and then into 2024 and beyond. All right. So that is your, that's your forecast for November. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful month. If you want to know more about numerology and want to know what's going on, go take a look at FeliciaBender.com. I am going to be doing a, a 2024 forecast, a preview. Go take a look. I'm not exactly sure when that is uh, yet. It's going to be early December. So take a look at the website, see when that is, Get you know, register for that. Uh, if you want to know more about your life path, uh, we've got all kinds of uh, free free articles, free material at FeliciaBender.com. And you can also get your chart and private session, all kinds of things over there. So take a look at FeliciaBender.com and uh, for all things numerology. Otherwise, I wish you a beautiful month and I'll see you back here next month.